Welcome. If you uh, have joined us via live stream, my name's Mike Hogan, along with Natea J. Just counting down to kickoff, about 12 and a half minutes to go before we uh, kick off the second and final preseason game for both uh, your Toronto Argonauts and Hamilton Tiger Cats. Uh, here from uh, from Guelph, Ontario, at the University of Guelph, awaiting the opening kickoff here. Fly, it's uh, blown in. Mike Domagallo will kick off the Carlton product, and it's a low line drive. Uh, picked up by one of the upbacks who takes it across the 40 to the 45, and that's where the Argos will come onto the field with McLeod Bethel Thompson at quarterback. So it comes John Haggerty, 53.2-yard average on nine punts last week. And he kicks it with that Aussie nose-down end-over-end thing that comes down at the 11-yard line and will be returned to the 20 to the 25. Still on oh, his wow. feet is Woods. He's going to wow. cut it outside. He's only got Haggerty to beat. And he will beat him. And Lawrence Woods is going to take it to the house for a touchdown for the Ticats. And we've got an injured Argo at the point of attack where the first block was thrown. But the Ticats strike first on a long punt return. Snap good, hold good, kick up, kick long, kick good. It's 7-0 for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. As a finalist for the Bronco Nagurski Award for the best defensive player in the NCAA. As a sophomore. Unreal. Pressure, rolling, rolling, oh! intercepted. Harris has it at midfield, and he'll take it back to the 50 to the 45, still on his feet. He'll be taken down at the 46. There's the interception the second time around, and the ball-hawking Argo yep. defense, get ready for that sentence this year, has a turnover, and the Argos down seven, have it with 451 left in the quarter. No, they, they are a ball-hawking hawking bunch, but Jalen Morton has been flirting with danger and this time he throws up a Christmas gift. Uh, he scrambles out. Obviously, he has feels like he has time, but he throws it right. I don't think he saw Harris there. He couldn't have because he literally gift wrapped that interception right to him. Right footer, Boris Beatty, has the Aussie as his holder. John Flaherty did that at Western Kentucky. He gets it down. Boris gets it up, and for the first time this year, I can say it's a BD three. Three points for the Argos, 7-3 Argo, uh, for the Ticats, rather, with a minute 27 remaining. Jake Reinhardt is the snapper. John Haggerty, the holder. Hi, Haggerty family in Australia. It's got to be it's got to be Saturday there right now, right? Living in the future. Kick is up. It's a BD3. He got it. 7-6. It is a one-point lead now after BD kicks his second field goal. You got to master that because a lot of pockets, a lot of these times, these pockets, the best play comes from broken plays. Fifty-one yard spend. field goal is good. Wow. He got it. Wow! So that'll be three more for the Tie Cats, who answer the BD three and cut the, or extend the lead rather to ten to six. Just want to see you knock it in for a touchdown. That's that's it. That's what plagued this team last year, and uh, you want to see them rectify that early this season. It's number three, BD3, this half for the Argos on the final play of the first uh, 30 minutes and 10-9 for the Tabby Kitties. Three receivers to the near side. Kelly looks that way. He's got the man for the touchdown. Argos score their first major and have taken their first lead. Yeah, this and it is was just a, Isaiah Wright who ended up with the football. This is just a slant from the slot. Chad Kelly sees it, quick drop, and fires it in there in between the zone defense. Yeah, but it, that blocking got you into the lead. <laughs> right. From the 34-yard line, that's where the tie cats will put it in play. Back go. to pass, looking long, left go. sideline, has a man touchdown. There we go. Dropped it right in there. Anthony right. Johnson will take the pass through Newman. Buffalo. University of Buffalo, Anthony Johnson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's why I'm happy. But, hey, that's the first time he's throwing the ball. Snap and hold her good. He's got it up. Yes, got it. Sir. It's a BD3. And a walk-off as BD does it to the Tabby Kitties again. <laughs> Toronto gets the win. 18-17, and it's going to make the drive back to the six a whole lot better for the Argo fans who made it down. What a way to end training camp, right? A lot yeah. of these situations, coaches try to manufacture 
in, in training camp and have your kicker try to make a game-winning kick. It, nothing compares to the real thing. BD lines it up. No Snap, doubt on the line. Hold, good, easy money for BD, and he knew <laughs> it right away. Does he, it to the Ticats again. 